Hi guys, today I would like to briefly compare two BMW M Performance engines, the venerable N55 and the superb B58, and clarify how similar and how different they are to each other. The N55 was introduced in 2009 and was in production for around 10 years. Consequently, it was found in almost every BMW series in various power outputs. The B58 was introduced in 2016 and is the successor to the N55 engine. It is similarly found in almost all the BMW series cars. Please watch my B58 vs B58TU video for a rough list of the cars that feature the B58. The N55 and B58 have some similarities. Both are 3 liter straight 6 engines developed by BMW. Both have won various awards. Both have 3 distinct technical versions. In the case of the N55, this is the N55 B30 M0, the N55 B30 O0, and the N55 B30 T0. And in the case of the B58, this is the B58 B30 M0, the B58 B30 M1, and the B58 B30 O1. Hence, both engine types have versions with power outputs between 300 horsepower and 400 horsepower. Both feature a combination of exhaust turbocharger, valve tronic, and direct fuel injection, making both engines TVDI engines. TVDI stands for Turbo Valve Tronic Direct Injection. Both feature a single twin scroll turbocharger installed on the right hand side of the engine. Both feature a single close to engine catalytic converter. Both feature similar lightweight camshafts. Both feature four valves per cylinder. So the two engines are broadly similar. Under the bonnet they are visually different. Whilst both engines are installed longitudinally with the hot turbocharger fitted to the right hand side aft looking forward the N55's intake and muffler box are on the left-hand side, away from the turbocharger, whereas the B58's intake and muffler box are on the right-hand side near to the turbocharger. In contrast, the coolant expansion tank is on the right-hand side of the N55, on the same side as the turbocharger, whereas the coolant expansion tanks are on the left-hand side of the B58 engine bay, away from the turbo, in what could be characterized as the cooler side of the engine bay. We'll return to coolant differences later in the video. A prominent component when looking at an N55 engine bay is the oil filter assembly at the front. The oil filter assembly is in a completely new location on the B58. Please watch my B58 under the bonnet guide video for details of its location. It's clear that the B58 design takes into account the reliability issues of the N55, which is likely why this oil filter assembly has been relocated on the B58 due to the known issue of oil leaking on the N55's serpentine belt. Just to mention briefly a prominent component when looking at a B58, which is the intake resonator. This resonator is even larger in the B58TU, appearing almost as a second air filter box. Note that in the case of both engines, the layout in the engine bay can vary. In the case of the B58, there are the first generation B58 and the second generation B58, also known as the B58TU. In the case of the N55, there are different intake and muffler box configurations, but I'll be using examples from the M2 for illustration. So as mentioned previously, each engine type has three distinct technical versions, but for simplicity in this video, we'll compare two from each. So we'll include the original entry into service versions and the highest power versions. Let's have a quick look at the engine designations. Please watch my S58 versus B58 video for a comprehensive description of what each letter in the designations mean. This video will cover the designations briefly. I will skip the first letter and return to it in a moment. The second letter, 5, means it is a 6 cylinder inline engine. The third letter, 5, in the case of the N55, means combination of exhaust turbocharger, valve tronic and direct fuel injection, and 8, in the case of the B58, means TVDI engine. However, the combination of exhaust turbocharger, valve tronic and direct fuel injection is also known as turbo valve tronic direct injection, TVDI, so this means both the N55 and B58 are TVDI engines. In other words, if the N55 were launched today, it would also most likely be designated N58, based on BMW's current naming convention. So going back to the first letter, both N and B mean the developer's BMW. 
but the letter has changed to demonstrate a move towards a modular engine design. It is a way to signify that the B-generation engines are in a different class compared to the N-generation engines, even if they share similar concepts such as the TVDI configuration. The fourth letter, B, means a petrol engine with longitudinal installation. The next two numbers are the engine displacement. In both cases, they are 3.0 liter engines. The next letter is the performance class, where M means medium, O means upper, and T means top. The last number is the redesign relevant to approval, where zero means a new design and numbers one and higher mean revision numbers. Finally, the main part of the video is to look at the differences between the two engines. The N55 was designed to comply with Euro 5 standard emission regulations, whereas the B58 was designed to comply with Euro 6 standard emission regulations. The N55 power output starts from 306 horsepower or 400 newton meters of torque whereas the lowest power version of the first generation B58 produces 320 horsepower or 450 newton meters of torque. The highest power version of the N55, the N55 B30 T0 found in the original M2, is capable of 370 horsepower or 465 newton meters of torque, whereas the highest power version of the B58, the B58 B30 O1, found in the current X3 and X4 M40i, M3 M4 40i, and Z4M40i and now in the G42M240i is capable of 382 horsepower or 500 newton meters of torque. The engine block of the N55 is an open deck design, whereas the B58 is a closed deck design. The open deck design results in improved cooling but can handle lower pressures. The closed deck engine block of the B58, which is shared with the B57, can handle higher pressures such as those found in its diesel engine counterpart but cooling is more restricted. Consequently, the B58 features a more heavy-duty cooling system, including a heat management module, and the B58TU also features split cooling. Please watch my B58 vs B58TU video for details on the split cooling system. Importantly, the B58 engine features a more heavy-duty liquid-cooled intercooler, whereas the N55 has an air-cooled intercooler. Therefore, the B58 features a second coolant expansion tank and an additional electric coolant pump. The N55 drives the engine coolant via an electrical coolant pump, but the B58 features a mechanical or engine-driven coolant pump. The N55's electrical coolant pump continues to operate after engine shutdown, but the B58 engine has an additional dedicated electric motor which continues to circulate coolant to the turbocharger after engine shutdown. Compared to the N55, the B58's exhaust turbocharger has a 6% larger turbine 10% larger compressor and is therefore able to produce 20% more boost. Please watch my dedicated B58 turbocharger video for more details. The fuel preparation pressure can reach 200 bar for the N55 and the first generation B58, but this has increased to 350 bar for the B58TU. The fuel injectors are solenoid type in both engines, but although the first generation B58 features the same HEDV 5.2 standard as found on the N55, the B58TU features HEDV6 standard. The N55 features 3rd generation Vanos system versus 4th generation found in the B58. The N55 features a bed plate below the engine block, but this is not installed on the B58. The B58 features forged steel crankshaft, which is superior and more robust to the N55's cast iron crankshaft. The B58 features toughened internals such as bearings, connecting rods and others, in order to cope with start-stop operation, whereas such protection was not taken into account during the design of the N55. The cylinders are protected with iron cylinder sleeves in the case of the N55, but the cylinder wall protection is more advanced in the case of the B58 using electric arc wiring spray LDS. The N55 features a power steering pump, but the B58 does not have a power steering pump. A gas particulate filter system was introduced in 2018 on the B58, something which is not implemented on the N55. The highest power N55 does feature a dedicated oil cooler radiator, which is not found on the highest power B58. Engine displacement is the measure of the cylinder volume swept by all the pistons. In the case of the N55, the displacement is 2,979 cubic centimeters whereas the B58 has a displacement of 2,998 cubic centimeters. 
In a piston engine, the cylinder bore is the diameter of each cylinder. Stroke length is the distance traveled by the piston during each cycle. Bore stroke ratio or stroke bore ratio is a term to describe the ratio between the cylinder bore diameter and the piston stroke length. In the case of the N55, the bore hole is 84 millimeters and the stroke length is 89.6 millimeters. Whereas in the case of the B58, the bore hole is 82 millimeters and the stroke length is 94.6 millimeters. Consequently, the bore hole to stroke ratio for the two engines is 0.94 for the N55 and 0.87 for the B58. In a combustion engine, the compression ratio is calculated based on the relative volumes of the cylinder when the piston is at the bottom of its stroke and the volume of the cylinder when the piston is at the top of its stroke. The compression ratio of the N55 is 10.2 to 1 compared to the B58's 11 to 1. The DME of the N55 is model MEVD 17.2 and the B58 is a more advanced 8th generation ECU model DME 8.6. The N55 features a single part timing chain that is at the front of the engine. The engine's weight is therefore front biased. In the case of the B58, the timing chain is at the back of the engine, so the engine weight distribution is more balanced. It should be noted that the first generation B58 has a two part timing chain, whereas the latest B58TU has a return to a single timing chain. This is just a quick comparison between the two engines and there are obviously a myriad of other differences and similarities between them. Through a modular design concept, the B58 features more commonality with other BMW engine types, e.g. the B57 diesel engine, and is able to produce and cope with more power and has lower emissions than the N55, from around 200 grams per kilometer on the N55 to roughly 175 grams per kilometer, which represents 12.5% reduction. The B58 does not seem to suffer from the carbon buildup issue which affected the N55 and its design has addressed the N55's crank hub central bolt failure mode. All this makes the B58 truly a different class engine compared to the N55. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I hope it was interesting. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the video and the two engines and what future videos you would like me to make. As always, Thank you to all of you who watched and to all the subscribers. See you in the next one.